And we are back, and this is the hurricane. I thought the last map was the hurricane. This is the hurricane. We'll see if my uh, see how well this uh, holds up here. Um, see if the stream works. But anyway, this is HDC. Hope everybody's having a good weekend so far. I might do more overhead views on this one, actually. Um, it is a Bolivar Heights Camp 285 on the POP, 140 on the CSA attacking, 145 on the defending Union. The sides are not swapped. They're at the normal campaign, and this is actually a battle out in the west. It is the 20th New York, which is actually on the CSA team, is attacking the MWB in um, Humboldt, uh, Tennessee, so western, central western Tennessee. So um, we will see uh, what happens. Uh, on the previous one, 79th was wiped out. Um, due to casualties, despite a victory on the map, so um, so it goes. But we will see how this goes this time. I'm not going to do the intro. Um, I'm hoping most of you guys came from the last video. Um, but if not, uh, you'll see the guys, and I'll kind of give the shout out to unit leaders as we go. But the Union is setting up a vo very forward defense here. They're not going in the woods, but they are kind of at this uh, tip of the... Uh, the camp here, the CSA is looks like they're all massing on uh, that side, the north side of the woods. We will see what we do here. I said I might do more back range thing stuff this time. We will see how well this, uh, this holds up. It's already having trouble. Now, so far, uh, the CSA is happy to do uh, long-range engagements here with this Union force. Now we'll see if I can do some close range uh, views. Dressing left, 40 seconds as those gaps appear to the line. Dressing left. Game does look beautiful with the rain. Now there is a small element out here. 79th is kind of poking out, trying to catch a couple easy kills. Which is not a bad idea, they just can't get caught. So that's a lot of tickets the Union cannot afford to lose. CSA for its part. Uh, HD has a couple guys out here trying to draw some fire, maybe. Be trying to get around the other side. Good shooting here from whoever that was. Who was that? Kilroy? I know it can't be Hood. Hood's not that good with a pistol. Had to be Kilroy. Do we have the attack developing? There's Hazard trying to get to his men. Captain Tank getting nailed there from the 83rd. No. No, but those guys went down as well. Was that a distraction? Maybe. So here comes the main attack. He has a decent kill box set up here, but I think the CSA is flooding in the right direction along this trench line. I think this is where they'll have the most success. But we'll see if it works. Keep moving, Tennessee. Keep moving, Tennessee. Let's go. Oh, very good here move by, who is this, Colonel Knight, or Major Knight, I should say, I don't, I, pick a, pick a rank, pick, pick a rank, and Knight is it. And he has now gotten well behind the Union line here, and I think he can break them, 
be honest with it. Yeah, he's going to break him completely. He's going to catch all these beautiful out-of-line kills for all these arty guys here and just farm tickets. And look how much the Union has lost here. I think this move by the TB may have just won the CSA the match. It's early, but this is a very big move they've just done here. They have completely cut off the Union here and have them in a box. And the Union is going to have to have the awareness not to get uh, overextended. And you've had a 40-second pullback. Uh, this position is no longer viable. It's time to go. It, it's time to it's time to get out of here, guys. You, you will just be wiped out here. You have an exit for now. But you're not going to have one forever. There goes Tommy. He's getting out of there. We'll see if the rest of the Union follows him. I think they should. You might think you could stand up. You won't. Your retreat is cut off. Oh, Tommy's not retreating. He's maneuvering. Going after one or two casualties? Okay. You can see how much the... Uh, this is the problem now. You're not focusing. How much is the Union losing on tickets? Well, CSA is getting hit a little bit too, but uh, that is a lot you're losing. Oh, yeah. Oh, no, no, no. Uh, let's see who's coming back now. So, all right, 19th Indiana Joker's coming on back. Again, I don't know why only part of the Union's coming back. The entire Union team should be moving back. back. And now they're moving back. All right. That means no more firing, guys. That means it's time to go. Okay, you're going to get killed out there out of line. She wanted to get one more shot off. Here we go. They, I think they got out just in time because here comes TB. Here comes Knight. To chase them off, and these guys out here loading, not paying attention. Boom, five tickets. Boom, five tickets. Knight loves doing this. He'll do this all day to you. Boom, boom. Look at that guy. He did a damn cartwheel. I didn't save you. All right, we're at 37 minutes. Union is almost at um, engaged and... But more, more importantly for the CSA, they have basically pushed the Union all the way back to this portion here. Now, there is a bit of a uh, defensive position set up here, but they didn't have too much time to set it up. So we'll see what happens next here. All right. Now this thing's holding up pretty well for me with the weather here, so I probably just jinxed myself. But we got Mr. Frog here from the 83rd. 83rd. 88th. Where's he from the 6th? Oh, he's from the 88th. Mr. Sergeant Frog. It's one of those guys I love hearing in the matches. You can always... You got certain guys you can... They've got those voices you could be like... You can hear them across the field. And you're like, oh, okay, it's... It's it's these guys. Like, Knight's got a voice like that as well. Sort of Stumper as well. Knight's fire! Get that very throaty fire command he does. Uh, Union's trying to hold here on point, but uh, we'll see. I think the CSA still hasn't really brought up all of its forces yet. The bad thing now is uh, if I was the CSA, I'd rotate another unit out over here and just start working my way around. There's not really a lot of defense here in the really freedom of moving over here. You don't need to do all the fighting right in front of them where they got the defenses to get around them. In the meantime, we got TB over here putting some pressure on. Yeah, I'd start moving up too, Knight, if I were you. Now, it could be the CSA is looking to farm some casualties. We'll see if that's what their intent is. Union has now hit engaged at 35-30.
Uh, now they did rotate a unit out over here. It is Tommy with the ninth core. All right, come on, game. That is not enough men to do any kind of action here, Ninth Corps. Now with 42nd, maybe? Maybe you could do something here? But, see, now, now HD is doing what I think they should be doing. Just rotate around them. Look what's right here. Look what you could do to them. Just keep coming around. Just keep coming around. Oh, don't, 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 don't get stuck in. Just keep coming around. Folks, just keep coming right, right over me, yeah. and shoot him. I've been lost for so long, turquoise. What the hell was that? I saw that too, Thomas. I don't know what the fuck that was. Did Knight come up? Uh, Knight's still being a little bit far back. I'd, I'd push up, Knight. I mean, here comes Joker. He's going to try to stop you, but... You're going to stop him. Oh, we got some action over here. All right, they did pull back in, which they needed to. So they weren't able to catch the uh, 42nd 9th Corps element over there. See what else we got. Is Knight start? Yeah, here he comes. Knight's starting to move up. Squeeze him. I think they're trying to get him down to uh, at least taking losses. And then cap is um, what I imagine the CSA team's doing right now. I'm not quite sure what the Union's doing anymore. I think they're kind of losing cohesion, to be honest with you. They don't, really, they don't really have a coherent defense that I can discern anymore. CSA has been put down to engage, but um, that is old comfort. We're at 3140, and the Union is getting crushed here. So the CSA, who was on the Union team last time, is able to get some payback. Yeah, it's not really, like I said, I can't really discern too much of a strategy anymore. This seems to be just devolving into individual fights. Um, and again, the CSA, I think, is just 
And they might even just try to shoot it out until they hit uh, breaking at the moment. They might not even bother capping at uh, taking losses. Oh, Hood actually got a couple of them. Oh, good for Hood. See, the Union has now basically been pushed all the way back. And holy shit, the CSA is chasing them down here. Knight is trying to finish off the uh, 83rd here. Well, whoever's left here, there's a bunch of units. And I don't blame him at all trying to get him down to uh, taking losses here before the cap. I don't think they'll quite do it in time. They'll be close. And it's a shame. They waited a little bit. A few more, another minute or so, they should have had it. But I guess they uh, they might be trying to extend the match, to be honest with you. And just uh, get them down to uh, get a few more kills in. And not much, I guess, not really much I can tell from here. 137 to 144, so well, slight CSA advantage, not really much. Um, yeah, Union basically push back to this section of the map. You gotta try to attack point. They got us pinned. So it looks like the Union at the moment is not looking to contest point. Um, normally I would say uh, by default that's a bad decision. You want to try to regain point as soon as possible. Especially if you're down on tickets like this. Um, you could regain a lot of uh, tickets and uh, not lose too much time. However, um, the Union may kind of have given up on it. And maybe just be looking to get casualties and preserve their own forces as much as possible. If that is the case, to me, be happy to just do a long distance shootout for the next nine minutes. Try to preserve as much of their manpower as they can while inflicting maximum damage on the enemy. So that may be what the Union's looking to do here. And this is actually a good example. So open order, even I would say even going into skirmishing is fine. Because if you're not worried about winning, you don't need to be in nice tight lines. You could be spread out. You could be in skirmishing. You could be in out of line now. Because you don't care anymore. What you're trying to do is keep the numbers overall down. So, you know, you maximize your use of cover. Um, you know, forget about the whole mechanic of out of lines, in lines. Don't even worry about it. Just, just maximize your kills on the enemy and minimize your deaths. 
Don't, it doesn't matter if they get you down the breaking or last stand at this point. Who cares? Or final push. So even though they got open order, I'd say fuck open order. You know, just get behind cover as much as you can. If that is the strategy you're going for. If not, you should be coordinating and occupying the point as quick as possible. And doing this long-range shooting doesn't do a damn thing for you. So, it's, you know, what are we doing? <laughs> it's, 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 you know. We got Sevy ver well, IVB versus the 42nd here, or a piece of the 42nd. Well, NYB is behind him as well. Finally, there by the NYV. Here comes Sevy, I guess, looking for a refill on, on bullets, I think, maybe. Looks like there was a bit of a union push on point I didn't see. So they recapped it a bit, so I missed that. I guess the strategy was to retake point. Um, if that's the case, then these guys are way too far out and need to get into a fight. If the strategy is to retake point. Five minutes remaining on the counterattack. Yeah, I don't really understand any 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 coherence to the Union strategy right now. CSA just needs to hold on point um, and maximize casualties on the opposite side. Um, like I said, I, I, I could discern two paths for the Union, and they're kind of splitting the two and not really doing either one all that well. Although here we got an attack on point. And 
might be able to recap point here. That element there needs to hold those guys down. And the Union may have an opportunity to recap here. Um, need to push those guys off, though, before those CSA reinforcements come up, though. We'll see if they make it in time. So Union's holding it for now. Now again, the CSA, if they're going for casualties, I would let them recap right now. If you're going to, you know, try to maximize casualties, just let the Union recap and extend the timer a little bit more. Um, if you're trying to win the match, I might try to press them a bit more and not let them get all the way back up to uh, taking losses on you. Because again, any, lo any losses you lose right now in CSA, it doesn't matter because the Union's just going to go up to that anyway. So, like, you could do it. Big ass charge right now if you want and try to maximize casualties. So right now, the more you stay alive actually helps the union. Hold, hold on the line. Go line. Independent fire. Independent fire. All right, so the Union has recapped at 20, now, but though, with 27 minutes still. Again, we'll see what the CSA wants. Again, if they're looking for casualties, if they're trying to do as much damage to this Union as possible, I'd say this works in their favor from the big campaign board. Um, I'm not sure if that was the intent or not. We'll see if they can uh, maintain this defensive position here against the CSA team and uh, maybe try to shoot them out down to a uh, final push versus last stand, maybe. That's still a tall order. Here comes Wilkes with the HL. Uh, not too much damage on that volley. Pepe, what's up, baby? Night. Looks like he's moving up along with PB. Looks like 20th is in the mix as well. It's his 20th token here. And who are they squaring off against here? They are squaring off against the 19th Indiana. And it looks like the 83rd is mixed in with them. Yeah, the CSA does not appear to be in a hurry right now. Looks like NYV is sneaking up on them. Who are they shooting at? Are they shooting at these guys down here? Shooting these guys? I mean, the burn, the Brambo's kind of fuck you up because they'll stop bullets. Might be, they might not actually have a shot, even though it looks like they kind of do from the angle on that.
All right, so far, the union is going even on tickets here. Damn it. Who the fuck is this every fucking time? Yeah, TB got into a bit of a crossfire there. They were a nice target for multiple units. Again, it's a bit of an even fight right now, but that's not necessarily a bad thing for the uh, CSA team, although Hood is going to try to do a, a maneuver behind here and might try to collapse the CSA flank. Let's see how this works for him. Gonna catch a couple out of lines as they're coming up here. come over on the other side of the berm. Are they going to try to link him with the NYV, possibly? Or are they going to try to vacate? Looks like the CSA is going to try to catch him before he gets out of there. Yeah, I think the CSA is going to catch him. And this is going to be costly for the Union. It's a nice idea, but I think he stayed a little bit too long on his welcome. NYV is going to try, Parker's going to try to help him, but it's too late. He could not get there in time. And now he's going to be in danger. Yeah, he's going to pull out of there now. Unless he's going to lose a whole lot of tickets. See if they can get the flag out of there. NYV is very good at flag management, by the way. They know how important it is to get those flags out. Even if everybody else dies, if you can get the flag out, it is sometimes a very, you know, sometimes decisive. So good job by those NYV elements there getting the flag out. But, uh, well, it looks like TB got wiped out by these elements over here. Looks like 19th Indiana, 9th Corps now moving up. Uh, it was still about even on tickets, though, even though uh, so it was about an even trade. That side, the CSA won, this side, Union won. I didn't see the fight on this side all the way to fruition, but uh, there you go. Got uh, Tommy moving his guys up. Trying to ambush the TB over here, it looks like. Just dancing to his uh, 27th guys. He will succeed, but again, the problem is they're going to get overextended like the other ones were. 83rd is going in with There's them, though. Oh, here comes Bocephus from the PB. Yeah, see, the problem is, so you can see now the Union is so far off, so close to, uh, the breaking now, if the CSA just wants to end it, and if they're tired of this, they can just move on cap now and likely take it without too much opposition. Um, I'm not sure, again, they might want to extend the match as long as they can for casualties-wise. I am not sure what the overall strategy is. A couple options. 
might explain. But Prepare none fully. Let me try to make sure everybody's off cap. <laughs> Which, uh, yeah, you know, you, you you were very close to getting them on breaking, so um, I, I would not depose a team kill there to uh, <laughs> preserve that. see what the next play is here. Uh, NYV's moving up while 19th Indiana's moving back. Not quite sure what the play is. Why, why is one going back and one going forward? In fact, NYV's going all the way in. And that will likely uh, put him into breaking. There it is. Now the Union is on breaking. Um, I'm confused. Are they trying to... See, I was going to say, maybe they're going to try to just let them gap and end it. And preserve tickets, but now they're flooding everybody in. Coming in? Yeah, get your reload, boys. Not really. Oh, wait, no, here we go. That will be the end of that. So, um, that was a strange one. Um, I couldn't quite figure out what the team was doing. It was, it didn't really make too much sense to me. Um, CSA kind of made sense to me. Um, you know, winning while maximizing tickets. Not tickets, uh, casualties. Uh, Union, um, seemed to be winning, but then it took a very long time to mount a counterattack. It was successful in the end, but, um, took a lot of kills doing it, and then, you know, even then, it was, it was, you know, by that point, you had, you know, taking losses at 27, you know, good luck to you. That was with the recap. That was with the, you know, your counterattack, so. Um, well, you know, it's a, each team won, uh, one and one, so, uh, you know, kind of lopsided maps, but uh, both, uh, both fought pretty hard. We'll see what the casualties look like. Uh, I imagine Union's going to be uh, a little bit uh, hurting on casualties right now. Uh, not, you know, that's, a uh, 100 difference is not bad, so, it's not bad for this map at all, so, not, not a total loss there. Anyway, that's it for this, uh, I'll, I'll be around tomorrow for HRE and, uh, Wars of the Session, so, hope to see you all for that one.